Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Rebecca Elaine, and today I'm going to be showing you how I created this DIY face mask. Um, we're going to be starting off with a regular sheet of paper. Um, I believe it's like 8 by 20 or something. I also have my tape measure, a sharpie just to mark things off. Um, I have my ruler. It's actually a yardstick because that's the, that's the only thing that I had. Um, so the first thing I need to do is to get my sheet of paper down to a 15 by 20 centimeter sheet. You can probably already buy paper that size, but again, I had to just use what I had in the house already. Um, so what I just did was marked off 15 centimeters down um, because you want to make sure that your page is 15 centimeters in length. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and use my Sharpie and my ruler to draw a straight line across just to make sure that I have that line secured. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 20 centimeters across, excuse me. And so I'm using my same line, but this time I'm going to be making a perpendicular dot um, in line to show that I'm doing a 20 centimeter in width. So 15 centimeters long, 20 centimeters wide. And you're gonna go ahead and just cut that out. I actually have a paper cutter at home, so it made it a little easier for me. If I didn't have that, I would just use scissors. And as a matter of fact, you'll see me using scissors later on in the video. Um, but I just went ahead and used my paper cutter. Um, while I'm doing this, I just wanna tell you guys that this video started off on Instagram and now we're here on YouTube. And so the latter half of the video is actually going to be in portrait mode rather than landscape. I do apologize for that. I was not planning to put, post this video on YouTube, but I wanted to be able to explain what I'm doing just a little bit more. So the next thing that I'm doing is just measuring from my ear to my nose. I'm using my measuring tape to do that. Um, and I'm using the centimeter measurement. And so from my ear to my nose was about 16 and a half centimeters. And so now I'm gonna actually measure that out on my sheet. So again, the length is 20 centimeters already. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and measure off 16 and a half. And I'm gonna put a little dot so that I know where I'm working. The next thing you want to do is from that dot, you just wanna go ahead and draw a line. Again, these lines are for reference so that you know kind of what you're working with. And by the way, I know my nails are looking crazy. I'm sure if you're in my boat, you can't go to your nail lady. I'm used to going to my nail lady, so I just had to cut them down, but I'm in need of a refill and I already know. Either way, you're gonna go ahead and now measure three centimeters down from that line that you made. Um, three centimeters going into the mask because the top part you're gonna cut off eventually. And again, using my ruler, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a straight line from there. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold my page in half. This is just another reference mark so I can know where to make my next line. So you just want to make sure that you fold your paper nice and neatly right in half down the middle there. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and smooth my page. And I'm going to draw a line from the corner of the page to that middle area. I actually put a little dot there just for reference. You can if you want to, you don't have to. But you're just drawing from the corner to each edge and it's creating kind of a little triangle. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and take your Sharpie and create a kind of a curved line around that triangle because we really don't want a hard edge here. This is actually going to end up being the front of your mask and so you just want to round it out so that it's nice and smooth. Next thing you're going to do is from the top of your page, you're going to measure three centimeters. I'm sorry it's cut off just a bit there, but I just put a little dot and that is three centimeters. From the bottom of your page, you're going to go ahead and measure five centimeters. Again, you're going to take from the bottom edge to the center, five centimeters. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to make a straight line from the corner of the top to that line going right through that five centimeter mark. And I'm going to do the same thing from the corner of the bottom going to the three centimeter mark. And so this is the stencil. And so the next thing we need to do is now go ahead and cut it out. Um, and so I'm just using my scissors now and I'm just gonna cut out this shape. 
because this is what we're going to use to kind of create the different pieces of our mask. Again, now we're going to be jumping into the portrait mode video, um, but hopefully you guys are still able to follow and make sure you leave comments below if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. And so this is my t-shirt. Um, it's one of my old skivvy shirts that I wear all the time. I just took it out of the washing machine and what I'm going to be doing is tracing my stencil onto the t-shirt and I'm actually going to go ahead and trace it twice. Um, and so this is kind of a little bit toward the side of the t-shirt and then I'm just going to scooch it over and go ahead and trace it one more time. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cut out these shapes. And so I'm cutting from the top and bottom of the shirt. And so I'm essentially cutting two layers at a time. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that on this stencil that I have traced out and then on the other. And so ultimately I'm gonna end up with four equal size pieces. Two from this one I'm cutting now and two from the next shape that I'm gonna cut out. So now that you've cut your stencils through the front and the back of the shirt and that kind of gives you two layers, you're going to go ahead and sew the edge of that layer together. Um, and so that's going to be the curved edge and you're going to go ahead and sew that together on each of your two piles that you have there. Um, this is not a sewing tutorial, but this is kind of how I did it. The cloth is thin enough where you can just kind of fold it over a couple times and get a few stitches in at once and then pull through. I was just doing whatever I could to kind of get it done because honestly this was done at about 11 o'clock at night and I was super tired and so I was just kind of doing what I could to get the desired results. So once you have the curved end sewn on both sides, you're going to go ahead and open up your pieces and layer them on top of each other. Try to actually get the seams on the outside of this mask um, because you're going to be flipping it inside out. I just, I happen to do it wrong. But once you go ahead and layer on top of each other, you're going to go ahead and sew the edges together. Um, you're going to keep the very sides open, but you're going to sew the top and the bottom edges so that it is completely put together. And now you can go ahead and flip it inside out. And so now this is going to be the mask that we're going to be using. Um, again, I did mine wrong and so you can see the seam on the outside on the back half of my mask, but I had it right on the other side so you can't see the seam on the other side. Now we're going to add the hair, hair ties and these are going to act as kind of the loops to put around your ear. And so you're just going to go ahead and cut them in half and place them inside the sides of your mask. So this is the open side that we have not sewn yet. Um, I didn't put mine super far down, especially because I started off with smaller hair ties. And so it's gonna depend on the size of hair ties to let you know how far down to put, the, put them in the mask. Um, and then once you get it in there, you're just gonna go ahead and secure it by sewing around it and even through the hair tie if you're able to. It was a little difficult for me at first, but I was able to kind of just play around with it. Again, I am not really good at sewing, but I just did whatever I could to go ahead and secure that hair tie to this end of the mask. And I'm actually gonna do that on both sides.
Once you're done securing the hair ties, your mask is pretty much complete. Um, I hope that this was pretty simple to follow. Um, I apologize if it seems too um, intricate, but I tried my best to kind of break it down step by step. Um, let me know if you guys have questions. Like I said, um, I definitely want to know if you were able to get this mask completed. Um, again, this is just a cotton mask. It does not have a filter, but you can add one if you would like. This was kind of a really last minute DIY use what I have to get the job done project. Um, I hope that you guys like it. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.